So hello people, YouTube lands, Diaz Man here, my new Sparrows Monster set. As promised, uh, it's got the cool little key tag, yeah. Alright, so, open it up, and in front, I've got the original as well as set, the first original 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So those are as, you know, long reaches, diamond, half diamond, that's a reach with a dimple. That's a hook, that's a gem, a small hook, regular, like a gem. Uh, tri peak, double peak, worm, snake, rake, and city rake. We go inside, we've got all the tensioners, new tensioners, we'll talk about them. These are the regular ones that came with the old set. With the regular set, always have, always will, I assume. They all come with three sizes, which is awesome. Each one, each type comes in a different. There's twists, there's flexes. Uh, these are flexes, these are twists. Uh, these are regular long, these are regular short, and these are the offsets, doorknobs and stuff. And you got the flats that they've just come out with recently. Sorry if I can get them out. Okay, uh, sorry, I'll hide that, you don't want to see that. <laughs> Alright, the flats, I'm not too impressed with. The, the bars, pry bars, They're, these two, the two that are like the Peterson, that I've seen, or the, the, the two, the thick and the thin, right? Well, this is the thick and this is the thin, and neither, they're both thin, real thin. And then... Okay, and then on top of that, you see the brown? It's like a burn or a stain. And you see that cross grain? I'm going to talk about that later. It's on every pick. It didn't come off of every single pick. I don't know why. I don't know why they weren't polished. The original set that I got way back in the day, they were polished up fine. Mind, mind you, they had rough edges. These don't have rough edges, but they're not polished very shiny. Um, okay. It looks like a coating, a dirty coating. And on the previous video, I mentioned that there's no teeth on these. Well, I found it regular. Regu la, 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 la. Sorry about the tongue tie. Later on, I noticed there were serrations on one. Both sides. And then this one, same size, different thickness. No thicker actually a lot thicker see this is really flexy super flexible i didn't even realize that that, that one's thick and that one's thick but this one's super super duper thin they might all be different sizes i don't know but they can't all be used for top of the keyway they could be it doesn't matter that's that. i'm not i'm not too impressed with those but what the they're here and i'll and i'll use them if they come in, if I need to. Um, we're not going to put those back. Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. Da -da -da. Boom. Now that's the monster set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, that's the monster set. There's ten picks. There's eleven of the originals. And ten of these. They're all the same. Well, no. They're all have the handles except for the one. The monster pick. Now the monster pick. I'm going to save the monster pick to last. Okay. Um, these. No names. I can't think of names for them. They're all variations uh, on hooks. Hooks, curves, and offsets, really. Uh, this is like an offset ball. This is, uh, yeah, but it's not like I've I've been using the uh, the ball offset ball picks that come with the storm, and they're pretty cool. This is more of a lazy slope on it, but it's it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Uh, this is um, more of a gem 
no, sorry, not a gem, round. It's a uh, shallow hook, real shallow, with a thicker, uh, with a thicker, wider. Uh, you can see all the originals. All of these picks, I do believe. Yes, basically every single one of the original set are set up flat, 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 always flat here, and then right there they start slanting down for the reinforcement. So they're the same, and then the, this goes down. So that's how every one is made, all the other ones, except for the new ones. The new picks are all different. They're, yeah, they're basically all sloping both ways. They're like regular picks, I would say, like anybody else's. They they, they slant down and they slant. They, they all come to a point. Um, okay. This one, a lifter of some sort, a special, with a little tiny dimple right in there. I just noticed it. This is take two of this video, and I just noticed it while I was making the video. Um, these two are like falls curves. This is the biggest difference in all of Sparrow's picks that I've seen, is them coming right down to the edge here. They usually always are centered. But they uh, curved like the fall, fall picks. All curves, and they're they're cool. This is more or a real good curve. This is more of a just a curve at the end, which I do not believe come with any of the curves that I've got. Uh, Sparrows comes with curves, and they've got three. They don't have one like this. It's like two. Okay, that's those. Uh, this one is. Now this one is weird. This one looks like it's been bent. Looks like, uh, I can't remember his name right now. But anyway, you've seen some picks that get really bent. This has already got the bend in it, I don't know why. And it's an extension, it's a, it's a long hook, long diamond hook, or long uh, gem hook too. It's got the point on the top right there, instead of, you know what I'm saying, instead of being flat. Regular hooks are flat. I call gems on the diamonds because that's what Peterson does. And I do believe most of these are the same. This is a little different. This is a uh, this is flat on the top with a little rise here coming down, and then it's flat. So it's, it's not that flat. It is actually more round. No, it's all rounded. Sorry, it's a rounded. It's just a little rounded tip peck. I don't know what you would use it for. I shall find out eventually. Again, another type of uh, rounded peck, rounded tip with a big... I don't know what these are for. I don't know why. I uh, We shall figure that out. Hopefully some people can uh, comment. Leave some comments, per, hopefully. Uh, see what you think. And that's an extended, uh, longer, that is a longer gem, it's pointed, as I call. I've never had Peterson picks, but I've been looking at, I've seen the gem, and the only difference to me is it's got a point. They're hooks with points, so I've been calling any hook with a point a gem as of late. So, this is a bit longer. Okay, that is everything except for the monster pack. Boom, it's huge. Look at that, it's blued steel. We got a little bit of blue ink, some sort of ink, I don't know. And I guess that's the monster, the Kraken. That's what they were originally supposed to be called, the Kraken Becks. You can see the dye stops right there. Now, you might not really notice how, how big this is. You might think, uh, I can't be that big. So I'll just bring out a little S or W rig. This isn't a, it's not the uh, Tri-Peak, which is 
there. That's a W Kaburm rank. And this are the two side by side. <laughs> Whole touching. A lot bigger. That's huge. It does fit in locks though. Works fine. I haven't picked anything with it, but I will. So all in all, I'm I'm really happy. They seem to have a better uh they're different. They're a lot different. I'm, I'm not talking the new ones. I'm talking the, even the old ones are new. They seem to have a different finish or something. They seem to be cut different. Like there's a point on the end of this. There never used to be on the original one. An actual point, I think. Yeah, it's filed. It's filed for that. And that wasn't like that. They're more... Uh, I think the machining cut them better, cleaner, what, however they're cutting them, because there's no rough edges. But because and they haven't been polished. And the other ones, the original ones that I got, did they were nice, real shiny, but they were uh, sharp, quite sharp in some places. And some I actually cut myself on those picks, so I had to do a lot of work. The only work I've been doing on these really is polishing off this, this crappy yellowish finish it's not it's kind of weird I'll try and show you one that I've worked on a couple here that I can play like let's find a highly polished one a higher polished one it's hard to get it off see now that's shiny right and we'll go with and that's been polished this has you can see one's got a yellow you can, I put them both in the same hand so you get the same reflections one's yellow one's white the white one has been polished now you can see the scratching that I was talking about earlier every one of them has that all going the same way all slanted except it doesn't matter I'm really impressed with the handles though I love the handles they're soft they're chewy, gooey, a little. They're hard, but they're not truly soft. They're, they're, they're perfect, I think. I'm, I'm uh, d debating on cutting these back or not because they're comfortable. But again, I'm losing potential feedback by not touching the metal. I'm even thinking of putting just a hole or something. I know where my fingers usually are always at, and I'll figure out something. Maybe, possibly, who knows? I might not alter them at all. Because, like I said, that is comfortable. If I can get used to the feedback, that's nice to have that. Out. Yeah, it's not on all. All of them. A lot of them are cut regular. Like that. Or even that one. That's like what I would assume they're supposed to be or should look like. But the extra, the extra helps uh, too. So, I'm just they're they're totally different, and I forgot to bring up the other picks. And I will do. I'm gonna do eventually. Gonna be doing a, like all my picks, kind of just just the differences between like a few of them out of each. Like I take a hook from each set type of deal, and I uh, show you the differences in each and each and each one. The sizes are all. There's nothing to compare these to, all these new ones. I've never seen any of these picks, really, other than the curves. So it's hard to, really hard to, to, to tell you if they're better than, or as, or whatever. You know what I mean? So you will hear from them as much as I can talk about them. Um, this is when I use them. I'll be picking some locks with them eventually when I get the hang of them a little bit better because truthfully uh, I am losing a lot of the feedback I find and I've been using different picks I haven't been using these very... I, I, I cut my teeth on these basically and there's a machine mark there they're, they're, I don't know, anyway I hope, it, I hope you guys are happy with them. I'm happy with them. I'm more than happy with them. They've got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful case. More than enough room for the picks. There's not a million picks to choose from, as usual, uh, like with the other, the other sets that everybody makes. 
So I'm happy. And uh, hopefully I haven't gone over my time. I'm over 15 minutes, but I think I can upload longer than that. I'm not sure. All right. Take it easy, guys. Check out Sparrows. Uh, Lockpick Canada if you're in the United States North America check out Lockpick Canada for Sparrows if not check out Sparrows period Sparrows.com and they're in Europe too they do deliver they do sell them in Europe too okay guys take it easy